Hi, I'm Ann Myrick, and today we're going to talk about how to decorate a hallway. Um, this is a very narrow hallway, so you don't want a, to put a lot in the hallway that is going to come out and even make the hallway look um, even more narrow. So you need to think about if you want something on the um, on the walls, maybe um, be sure that your picture, your artwork is very flat to the wall and it doesn't come out like three-dimensional. So um, you can put, um, I would probably, this is a very dark area, so what I would probably do is number one, I might take the color that is in the house and as I come down the hallway, one thing I might do is go the same color but lighten it up. Go two or three um, steps lighter in the hallway so the hallway won't be so dark because you can see how dark it is. Another thing I would do is um, we've just moved into this house and so um, we um, don't really like the brass fixtures but what I would do is I would put at this point I would put the brightest light I can in the hallway and then when I change it out I would try to get a light that just gave me a lot of light. Um, in painting your hallway, you want to lighten it up. You want to be sure that there's not a lot of things down on the ground because, again, it is a narrow hallway. Um, you might want to put a um, like a little um, night light in one of the plugs where you can um, see as you go back and forth. As you come out of this area, there's a little bit of a bigger area, and so this would be a good area to put, like you could put a big mirror here, a really pretty big mirror. That way, when you leave your bedroom, you can check yourself um, and see if your makeup's on or if your hair's done before you walk out the door. So you could put a mirror here. These are carpeted floors. If you had a hallway that was wood floors, you might want to put a runner, a non-skid runner that went all the way down, and that is how you could bring in some color. If you brought in a non-skid runner and you could pick out something that had a lot of color in it that kind of um, gave you a little bit of zip. So have fun with your hallway. Be careful that if it's a very narrow hallway that you don't cram it, you don't put too much in it. This is Ann Myrick, and that's how to decorate your hallway.